Hey guys, Julia here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run TikTok ads. We'll take everything step by step. So if you're a total beginner, just stick around. I'll show you how the ad campaigns are structured, how to set them up inside TikTok, how to get high converting content for your ads, and finally, how to interpret your data and two different strategies you can use to scale your TikTok ads. By the end of this video, you will be ready to get tons of orders in your Shopify store. Now the first step is creating a TikTok for business account. So if you haven't signed up yet, make sure to find this link in the description and create your TikTok for business account. Once your account is ready, the first thing I'm going to show you is how the ad structure works. At the very top, you have your campaign. You can think of a campaign as the overall strategy and goal of your advertising. Then within a campaign, you have ad groups, which is where you can group together different ads. You can have just one ad group if you want to, and there is also no limit to how many ad groups you can create. So if you have a larger budget, you might want to create many different ad groups. The standard is usually between two to four different ad groups so that you can test different things effectively. Then within each ad group is where you can create your ads. I recommend starting with two to three ads per ad group, but you can have more or less if you prefer. Two to three ads is usually going to give you a good starting balance and enough data to optimize your strategy. Now to create the structure inside TikTok, first, you have to choose between one of these options. In this tutorial, I'll show you the advanced. So click on it. And now we are going to create the first campaign. So first, we need to choose an advertising objective, which you can think of as the goal of your campaign. If your goal is to get sales on your Shopify store, go ahead and click on Website Conversions. The Smart Performance campaign we will leave off for now. And let's give this campaign a name. You can change the name later on if you need to. Here in Create Split Test, you can test different ads very easily. Because we are still in the beginning steps, we are going to leave this off for now. Now here, we also have an option for a campaign budget optimization. So here's what that means. A budget is essentially how much money you were putting per day on TikTok. So if campaign budget optimization is on, it basically means you are giving TikTok a budget for your entire campaign and you're allowing TikTok to figure out how it's going to distribute that budget across your ad groups based on what TikTok's AI thinks will perform the best. So if you have a $100 daily budget, for example, with this feature turned on, TikTok could go ahead and give an ad group $80 of that budget and leave the other ad groups with a very low amount. This takes away all the control you have when testing ads, so it might be best to turn this feature off. So down here, you can set your campaign budget. We are going to leave this blank for now as we will be setting the budget at the ad group level. So click on continue. And now, as you can see here on the side, we are in the ad group level. So let's go ahead and give this ad group a name. I'm going to name it broad as I'll be targeting as broad and unrestricted as possible in this ad group. Now we have to choose the optimization location, which is where the sales are going to happen. Since we are selling in our Shopify store, you can choose website. And down here, we come into the TikTok pixel. So let me quickly explain what a pixel is. To keep it simple, a pixel is a piece of code that lets TikTok track events on your store. So if someone goes to your Shopify store and adds an item to the cart, the pixel is what's going to gather that data and send it to your TikTok account. So to track these events, we need to install a TikTok pixel. We are going to do it in the easiest way possible. So first, open your Shopify dashboard. And here, we are going to have to install the TikTok app. So go to Apps. And here in the search bar, enter TikTok. Now select this app and click to install. Now we can use the one-click pixel installation, which makes this very easy and fast. So click on Setup Now. And here, you'll need to connect your TikTok for Business account. So click on Connect. And if you are already logged into your TikTok account on a different tab, you'll be able to connect automatically. Otherwise, just go ahead and enter your login details and then click to connect. 
Now here, just click on Create. And here we are going to connect to the TikTok Ads Manager as well. Now on data sharing, you'll get these three options, which are different levels of how much data will be gathered from the consumers. Depending on your privacy policies, you might be able to choose maximum. If you're not sure, I recommend just choosing enhanced. You can also click here to learn more and here to change your privacy policies. So select your option and click on confirm. Now click on finish setup and the pixel is ready. So if we go back to the campaign page, here you'll see the new pixel appear automatically. Now you also have to choose an optimization event, which is basically what you are assigning the TikTok algorithm to chase. You can think of this as the goal of your pixel. If you're looking to get sales in your Shopify store, the best option here is complete payment. This will make sure the TikTok algorithm will look for users who are most likely to complete payments and essentially get you sales on Shopify. Though because we are still in the beginning steps, we are actually going to choose Add to Cart so that we can start feeding the algorithm. Once you have a few Add to Cart events, you can then change this to Complete Payment. And just so you understand this, TikTok has a very powerful database and can very easily track which users are most likely to do something, which is why you can leave it up to TikTok's AI to figure out most of this. So choose Add to Cart and let's head to the next setting. Now down here on Placements, you can choose between Automatic or Manual. I highly recommend selecting your placements manually and only selecting TikTok. This will make sure you only be showing your ads to very high quality traffic. Next up, we come into targeting. Here you can select who you want to show your ads to. Now there are many different targeting strategies you can go for. You could do demographic targeting, interest-based targeting, lookalike audiences, and a few others. But because the AI of TikTok is so powerful, we are gonna do something completely different known as broad targeting or unrestricted targeting. This means we are leaving all of these settings as broad and unspecified as possible so that TikTok's AI can decide on its own without any limitations. And trust me, TikTok does the job very effectively. So for this ad group, we will leave all of these settings as they are. Later on, you can create another ad group and try a different targeting strategy. Now, depending on where your Shopify store is able to deliver, you can still go ahead and select the countries you would like to advertise in. You can do that right here. Then down here on budget and schedule, we are going to enter the ad group budget. On TikTok, the minimum daily budget is $20. So keep this in mind if you want to create more ad groups later on. If you need to, you can also start with just one ad group and then scale later on. We'll be talking more about that in a moment. Now we are going to configure when this ad group is going to run. You can either choose to run it continuously, so the ad doesn't stop running until we turn it off, or you can set a start and end date. We're gonna go ahead and choose continuously. Here, you can also select specific times for your ads to run. Though we're gonna go ahead and leave it on all day. For the next part, just make sure you're optimizing for conversions. Now click continue. And we are now at the ad level. So here's where you will actually set up your ad content, which is known as your ad creative. First, we're going to give this ad a name. And down here, you can set up your identity. You can think of this as the profile that is running the ad. So click on Create. And here, you can enter your store name and add your store logo. Now we are going to choose the ad format. You can choose between single video or carousel. If you already have a video ready for your ad, you can go ahead and upload it here. Now, if you still haven't figured this out, there are different ways to come up with ad creatives. 
The first option, of course, is creating them yourself. If you don't want to use your own voice for the video, you can use an AI tool to generate vocals. I'll leave my favorite tool for this linked in the description. Now, if you don't want to create these videos yourself, then I recommend paying someone else to do it for you. This is going to be a lot easier and likely convert better. To make all of this super easy, what you can do is use a tool called Billow, which is a paid platform that connects you to video creators. Inside Billow, you can simply submit a task and the creators will apply directly inside the platform. So you can then browse through their portfolios and see which one is the best fit for your brand. Once you've chosen a creator, you can then send them your product and they will deliver you a video. This is probably going to be the easiest and most effective way for you to get ad creatives, so I'll leave a link to below in the description in case you want to try it out. And here are a couple quick tips to make sure your video is going in the right direction. The most important thing is that it catches your audience's attention in less than three seconds. You have to make sure your video has a catchy beginning. So make sure there is some form of wow factor about your product or that it's filmed in an engaging way. I also recommend you add an exciting offer at the beginning or end of your video since it's such an important factor when it comes to selling. I also recommend you add subtitles since most users will first view your video without sound. Once you have it, go ahead and upload your video. And here you can see your ads preview. Now we are going to go ahead and enter the text that will appear in the ads. I recommend adding a call to action and communicating your offer. Offers are extremely important for your ads to actually convert, so make sure you have an exciting offer. It could be buy one, get one free, buy one, gets 50% off, 20% discount, etc. Down here, you will enter the landing page URL, which is where users will land once they click on your ad. I strongly recommend you link directly to your product page so that the consumer is guided very smoothly through the funnel. Now click on Submit, and your first ad is ready. So here you can see we have the campaign level, the ads group level, and the ad. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I recommend adding at least two ads per ad group. The idea is to test different ad creatives. So what you can do now is create a couple more ads to test against this one. To make it super easy, you can just click on copy, keep it in the same ad group and campaign, and then create one or more copies. Now all you have to do is change the creative Add your landing page link and then publish it. Now, as you can see, we have a new ad here in the ad group. And just keep in mind that TikTok takes a few minutes to activate your ads. So if you're still seeing a red dot here, that's perfectly fine. They will go live very soon. So we now have a complete campaign set up and running. If you have a bigger budget to work with, I recommend going ahead and creating another ad group within your campaign with a different targeting strategy. This way, you can test it out against this one to see what performs better. A common structure you can use for this is setting a broad targeting ad group, which is what we've just completed, and an interest-based targeting ad group. So let me quickly explain what interest-based targeting is. Instead of just leaving it up to TikTok to choose your audience from an unrestricted and completely broad setting, you can enter specific demographics and interests. Let me show you how to do this. Go here to the ad group level, and on your existing ad group, you can click on copy. Now enter your ad group name, and down here, you can set up more specific targeting options. Enter the countries you'd like to sell to, the age groups who are likely to be interested in your product, and down here on interest, you can type in the topic of your product.
Just keep it simple. And the rest of the ad group settings should be good to go. So let's continue to the ads. Here you can go ahead and repeat the same process we've covered previously. Add your ad title, add creative, landing page link, and follow the same steps to create two to three different ads. All right, as you can see inside this campaign, we now have two different ad groups. If you need to, here you can edit the individual budgets of each one. And here on the ads tab, you'll see all of the ads we have created. All right, so you're now ready to start running your TikTok ads. And if you have good ad creatives with a strong offer and awesomely designed Shopify store, then you're likely about to see tons of order notifications. So the next question is, what do you do when the ads are working? How do you scale them? There are two different strategies you can use to scale your ads. One is called vertical scaling and the other horizontal scaling. Vertical scaling is a straightforward strategy. You simply add more budget to whatever ad group is performing the best. Now, another way you can scale your ads is with horizontal scaling. This means duplicating the best performing ad groups and then replacing the underperforming ads inside that ad group with new ones. Now, before making any changes to your ads or turning them off, make sure to wait a couple days and allow them to gather enough data. This might take some patience, but with enough testing and experimenting, you are going to hit the right one. Before making any changes, it's also important that you learn how to analyze and interpret your data. One of the most important metrics that you will want to look at is your click-through rate, also known as CTR. This refers to how many clicks your ad is actually getting. To help you understand what conclusion you could pull from a CTR, let's say you have a healthy amount of clicks, so a high CTR rate. This could be somewhere above 1.5%. Now let's say regardless of these clicks, you're still not getting many sales. If that's the case, because your ad is getting a lot of clicks, you could conclude that your ad is actually working very well, but the problem might be in your online store. So I would then suggest having a second look at your pricing, your product images, and your overall web design. Now let's flip that the other way around. If you're getting a very low CTR, which means a very small amount of clicks, somewhere under 1%, then I would suggest trying a new ad creative. And keep in mind that sometimes a slight change in your video can have a pretty big impact on your results. A change in angle, in lighting, or in words sometimes can make all the difference. So make sure to experiment with different videos until you hit the right one. And while analyzing your data, know that the right numbers for you to reference will depend on what you are selling and in which industry. So if you are selling a luxury product, for example, it's absolutely normal to see a lower number of conversions per a certain number of ad impressions. I'll leave some extra help on all of this linked for you in the description. Just be patient with all of this, continue testing, and you might be a corner away from getting tons of orders on Shopify. Once you hit a high converting ad creative, there are no limits to how much you can scale it. You might just be the next person who is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars per month profitably on TikTok ads. So start where you're able to and build your way up. Once again, if you haven't signed up for your TikTok for Business account yet, make sure to find this link in the description and create your TikTok for Business account. And if by any chance you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I'll also leave the best current Shopify deal linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for the first month. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. I'm also super excited to hear more about your progress. Before you go, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're looking for more tips on how to become successful online, then make sure to subscribe to the channel where I'll be sharing tons of helpful tutorials from beginner to expert level. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.